this <laughs> this chain is, I'm sure it, it, it wants to do me some damage um, so yeah I'm gonna put good morning um, yes been missing two days Monday and Tuesday it is Wednesday today um, I just wasn't feeling too good so that's the reason why I haven't really um, uploaded any information. I was just in a t-shirt and, and leggings and jeans but um, over the weekend oh it was gorgeous the weather <gasps> oh if that's anything to expect when someone's going to come here it's yeah it's, it's well and truly needed yeah some vitamin D yeah that's right it's that you get from the sun anyway so um, yeah so I was um, near the countryside and I did actually wear um, some jeans and a jumper. I had my thermals on underneath, underneath, which you definitely needed. <laughs> I think the same applies for today as well. Yesterday was really cold, so Monday, Tuesday, yeah, it was cold. It's, 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 it's nice today. The sun's picking up, and you, this is probably going to be the last time. No, it's not. <laughs> that I do a weather forecast for you <laughs> for what's happening in Britain <laughs> up north <laughs> anyway my outfit for today now I do have a video tutorial for this and I'll link it below so um, I've made I haven't made any changes to this it's still the same top what I've done is added to it because um, like I say when I do my video tutorials and then I wear the garment then I may feel that I need to make some changes I didn't make any changes to this um, I just added to it because of the sleeves are quite heavy and I wanted this ruching effect to still be here and without me putting my armbands on which these are that's how I'm going to describe them that it was pulling it down so the sleeves <laughs> literally past my knees and it's like okay I've got to do something about that so this is what I came up with so it's still got a little peak of my skin there and um, but it feels comfortable right now actually I may have to tighten it just a bit more I think I didn't want them too tight because obviously I don't want them to, to cut off my circulation um but no I, I like it it's gorgeous and then I added a sand while I was there sewing it was like, I need something for the whole neck area, this collar this time. <laughs> because it's not a very expensive one, not that I'll admit to a polar neck. It falls in on itself and it looks all raggedy and so I didn't, I didn't like that. So what I decided to do is, in order to keep this up and add a bit more interest to the outfit, I created this um, choker and it's gorgeous. So I actually managed to get this fabric into this project because if you watch the video, which I said I'll link below, I do actually talk a little bit about where this has come from. It's, it's scraps from a previous project. I'd also link that below as well, which was the corset belt, which was very popular. So thank you all for liking my video on that. It was very, very popular. So yeah, and now I've added it to this. It's like... Ooh. Ooh, I'm liking this. So yeah, so I think I will always be wearing the, especially, no, I will, no, not especially. I will be wearing the, the, the choker as well as the armband anytime I wear this outfit. It is so cute. I even like the back as well now. Ah, oh, and I love this, what's happening here. Can you see that kid? Oh, I'm loving it. It's cute. It's gorgeous. So yeah, so my outfit. So I'm wearing silver jewellery. Well, necklace anyway. Earrings. I'll get there. <laughs> I am fine. I really am fine. <laughs> Please don't worry. I, I am okay. I'm back to me old self. Um, so I'm picking up that silver from the D's that are here. And I was going to wear some black rings. Should I get my black rings on, do you think? Okay, bear with me one moment. Yeah, definitely. And I am going to be wearing some 
sunglasses. I love the shape of this. I mean, I mean, it sits my face really well. And I've got a white arms. And then I will be going for a clutch because they're so popular right now, aren't they? I think it really goes well with what I'm wearing. So yes, that's my outfit for today. I'll bring you down so you can have a look at the bottom half of me. Oh, the pants are, um, yeah, I've got pants on with this uh, from the CGR collection and they're very old. Yeah, I probably need to make myself um, another pair. I will do at some point. I wasn't sure whether to go for these because they flare out a little bit at the bottom. And when I did this, when I was making this, I actually had a bit more fitted ankle around the ankle area so yeah it may change it's still it's still cute yeah it's still cute by the way if you want me to do a video tutorial on how to make this choker let me know in the comments the more i get of people voting for this i also put it on my community tab as well then i'll definitely make this choker um yeah i, I need a, a good many of you to actually vote and then i'll make it but it's cute and I'm loving it and I can actually tie this a couple of different ways as well which is really cute and I put that as part of the tutorial so get voting Hello, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Pauline Cheely. Hello, fashion sewers, how are you? So, my outfits of the week Friday videos. I hope you are enjoying them. Please let me know in the comments if you are. The reason why I do my Friday outfits of the week is to inspire you and show you how I would team my refashion projects in with along with my garments that I have designed, pattern drafted and also so and some high street pieces as well, so ready to wear garments. So I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you and motivating you in order for you to refashion any garments because you, as you, um, I'm not sure many of you may know that back in the day um, I did a lot of sewing techniques and I put sewing techniques in the description whenever I do video tutorials to help you with your project as you sew your project. You can always click on those videos, it will teach you in depth about certain technique that I will be um, using in a project. I can't really do that in my projects because my videos will be very long and I'm very worthy and um, of your time so I do thank you for watching my videos but like I said please click on those because it will really help you with your project to get a professional looking finish to your garments. So going back to my outfits for Friday, I hope they are inspiring you. Um, if you want me to do a bit more in depth of my clothing I will do because I don't want to take up too much of your time so um, I do talk about the weather quite a bit <laughs> I'm gonna hold back on that as much as I possibly can and um, so yes yeah, so let's just get into the video and um, yeah I, I hope you enjoy it hello today I'm in a refashioned jacket that I love I've worn this so many times I think yeah I have haven't I over the past couple of, I'd say three or four months, maybe even longer actually, because I think I made this last year. I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um, and I love it. I love the sleeves. I think I usually wear it open, don't I? I think. Oh, yeah. But this time I've got it buttoned up and I'm just wearing a camisole, then a camisole underneath. I'm not going to mention it. Um, but it is a day where I am going to be needing some sunglasses, just a clue. <laughs> and yes, yeah, this jacket, I'm just wearing some jeans and I'm trying to stick with this very hairy all this month, but I'm getting there, I think you would agree. Um, but even though it's navy blue, I've teamed it with some kind of purpley lilac jeans, which are oversized and I've turned them up. I love turning up my jeans. If you like turning up your jeans, let me know in the comments because I just love, I think they're so, they're so sexy. I just love them. I just love turning up jeans. 
anyway. So, um, and I've got my platforms on, um, which is kind of a trend now, but I've had these for how many years? I can't remember how many years, but it's been many, many years. And um, yeah, keep your stuff. Just give it your colours background if you're a person that loves to follow fashion. Let me just show you the back again. And I will link a, a video tutorial for this because I'm sure you will be very much inspired and motivate, motivated to do something similar. So I've tinged it with my earrings. I've also got a purple necklace on here. It's struggling, it is, I'll admit, it's struggling to, to, to kind of like um, be noticed. <laughs> but if I need to open my jacket then it will get more exposure there but you get glimpses of it so that's good um so yes so like i said my earrings i'm not wearing any rings so i'm going to team it with this bag that you've seen several times i think last time you saw me with this bag i hit myself in the face with it if you do remember um so i'm going to put it cross body like so and yeah, that's looking really nice. So, so there's a lot of jewel, it's a jewel colour anyway with the purple and the sequins even emphasise that a lot more. So um, I don't think it needs any rings on and that's enough. I like that. Yeah, it goes well. And then I'm going to finish up with these blue tinted glasses in a silver frame. Oh yes. And that is my look for today. And I will bring you down. inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas for upcycled fashion. If you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three different levels. Check the description and I hope to see you there. Let's get back to the video. So it's Friday and I'm wearing a crossover cardigan inspired by my wrap over or crossover men's shirt that I did a project a couple of years ago um so yes and it's actually this color as well it was a lilac color and I've teamed it with a grey jumper well no it's a polo neck actually it's a polo neck and I have highlighted the neckline with this purple big purple beaded necklace um this isn't really intentional, even though I do this sort of thing where it will be intentional, but usually there's a lot more ruching that's going up here. But this is the length I like my jumpers, my cardigans to be. Not that one. <laughs> no, even though I've got too many cardigans and jumpers at that length, but yeah, I've got long arms. So yeah, this is oh, gorgeous. So, I'm wearing it with a pair of purple pants. These are the CGL collection and I've got a little bit of the grey showing through just to highlight the polar neck um, not necessarily the cuffs because they are going to be hidden let me show you the back let me show you how you how I'm going to hide these -da. I don't know what the da -da was about <laughs> I'm just gonna have some fun today so this is from a previous project as well that I did with a men's shirt and a dress. How gorgeous is that? So yeah, I'm going to have some fun today. I'll put the other one on. And then I'm going to team it with should I go for my very peri bag? Or should I go for my purple sequins? Can you guess? Um, yes! 
<laughs> this chain, it, I'm sure it, it, it wants to do me some damage. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this... Can I carry this in my hand? No. No, because I want, I, I, I want the cuffs, my bow cuffs to have a lot of attention. So I'll put this crossbody so it creates that balance. It's gorgeous. You see? Ooh. Yes, that looks great. I'm happy with the way that's looking. Let me just give you a little twirl. And I'm wearing lilac shoes. So I'll bring you down so you can see the rest of me. Enjoy my Friday videos, my outfits of the week. Please let me know. Please put comments in the comment section. It really will help me to understand whether I need to change things up on my channel or whether or not you want me to actually do them as well. So if you do like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, like. Under the like button is the subscribe button. It really will help my channel out. Once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload of my tutorials that I do on a Wednesday and obviously my Friday of the week videos of my outfits. If you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.